a modern monument to luxury. Walk down this Los Angeles street and you'll see an amazing home. You might even do a double take because this house looks more like a Mayan temple. It was designed by Lloyd Wright, the son of legendary architect Frank Lloyd Wright. When it was finished in 1926, the junior Wright had created his defining work. But when Zorin Balbiz stumbled upon it in 2001, it was a crumbling ruin. But Zorin restores old houses, so he knew instantly he had found something special. When I walked up the staircase into the front door, I actually asked the realtor how much the house was. I turned around, I went back, I got my checkbook, and I bought the house. I saw this amazing piece of architecture that had, was neglected, and I really felt like it was part of my soul's calling to actually give it new life. Zorin spent nine months carefully renovating the house, working hard to mix the exotic feeling of an ancient civilization with modern beauty. He was inspired by these earthen blocks stacked the way they would be in a Mayan temple. They define the heart of this house, the center courtyard where there is almost a mystical air. This house, from morning to night, constantly changes. My favorite time of the day here is actually around sunset because everything starts changing. It's really stunning. That's when Zorin lights the stained glass torchères and clay fire pit, which intensifies the exotic atmosphere. The earthen block also weaves its way from outside to inside, giving the living room a magic of its own. And that all the furnishings really needed to be simple and that they were really just places in which to rest so that you could actually like view and see the space that you were living in. Because of that, the first thing you notice is the mammoth stone fireplace. It draws your eye up to the dramatic stained glass skylight overhead. Statues and icons from all over the world are scattered throughout the house. There's many cultures actually represented here, you know, from a Buddhist culture to a Tibetan culture, uh, Chinese. I wanted to be able to, you know, to blend the old and the new together. And it was, a, it was a very delicate balancing act to be able to accomplish that. Like in the master suite, where an antique Buddha head watches through the window. From here, Zorin has views to the courtyard, the living room, and the city beyond. I felt that, you know, to, um, to wake up and go to sleep, seeing the structure and the courtyard and the architecture would be the most inspiring moments. And in the most private inner sanctum, the master bath, Zorin has created a temple of rejuvenation. In the center of the room is a stainless steel tub. The circles in the concrete floor were made to mimic the design in the skylight, a piece that Zorin salvaged from the original house. It represented to me like a pebble dropped in water and the rings that it creates. The bathroom to me is like going to a spa. I just felt like that I could design it and spend an entire day there living there. Zorn brought life and vitality back to an amazing structure. But that's not all he brought back. That soulful energy can be resurrected. And I feel like it's part of my job to go in and honor the creative energy that went into a particular architectural masterpiece. From the first moment that I saw the house, I actually thought that it was an amazing house. But I really had no idea that it was going to have the impact that it has.